from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Dee O'Reilly. We'll check in with Greg D in just a moment for a look at your forecast. But right now, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Today, President Biden and the First Lady will travel to Fort Myers to tour the catastrophic damage from Hurricane Ian. President Biden will get an operational briefing by federal, state, and local officials on response and recovery efforts. Additionally, President Biden plans to meet with small business owners and local residents impacted by the storm, as well as the people helping to restore power and get food and water to those without. Later this afternoon, the president will give remarks on his administration's commitment to support the recovery efforts in Florida. Sarasota school district leaders say schools will begin to reopen in phases. Phase one will include all public schools in Venice and just north of the city. Phase two will be all their public schools in Inglewood and Northport. Those reopenings are projected for Monday, October 10th and then Monday, October 17th. The superintendent said that they have around 300 bus routes that they have to test to make sure that all of their bus stops are open and ready to go. You can find a full list of schools and their reopening dates on our website, abcactionnews.com. Governor DeSantis announced the state's first disaster recovery center is now open. It's at the Lakes Regional Library in Fort Myers. This center has power, running water, and Starlink internet access. Floridians can get help with uh, FEMA aid. Uh, they can get bridge loans for damaged businesses and get help with insurance claims. I started prattling about this to Kevin, like literally um, Friday after the storm, and he's like, we're doing it. And, but I mean, we really wanted to accelerate because we understand people have apprehension. We want to go in if they need help. This is the first location to open, but the governor expects more to open in the coming days and weeks. Northport, of course, was hit hard by the storm, but today some facilities and services will begin to reopen. City Hall and other city buildings are open to the public beginning today. Solid waste pickups and building division permitting will also resume normal operations. The Tampa Bay Lightning Foundation is hosting a supply drive and auction to raise money to get supplies for those impacted by Hurricane Ian. Anyone can come down to Thunder Alley to donate. They'll be collecting items starting today through Saturday. You're encouraged to bring items like non-perishable food, water, baby supplies, and personal hygiene items. Other equipment like masks, flashlights, batteries, those will also be accepted. And starting on October 8th, the preseason home opener, all proceeds from the 50-50 raffle will benefit Hurricane Ian relief efforts. For a full list of dates and times for the supply drive, as well as all the items that, be, that will be accepted, go to our website, abcactionnews.com. Greg, not surprised at all that the lightning's jumping and help the community. Uh, they are so uh, big in the community and really give back all the time. Uh, not surprised at all that they are uh, really uh, spiriting that drive there. Temperatures in the low 80s today. Plenty of sunshine to start today. It's going to feel comfortable with the air dry and the dew points down into the low 60s. No humidity at all, especially when you compare to where we were just about a week ago. No rain expected through the afternoon with light north wind. It's going to be a beauty. I do expect that to stick around for the next several days. Take a look at your complete seven day forecast it's available in the weather section of the abc action news app to you all right thank you so much greg you can now get news 24 hours a day on abc action news plus just download the abc action news app on roku amazon fire tv android tv and apple tv